Hello everybody, welcome to the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith Show and we are so excited to do this fried mush for you. Since we are in the Appalachia area, this was one recipe that they used years ago, it's old time, it's been handed down and people have tweaked it a little bit to theirs. So this is the recipe that we're going to use. When I had the restaurant, I had a cook who used to make the fried mush for us and we'd fry it in the deep fryer. But um, we're going to fry ours in an iron skillet the, tomorrow morning because you have to let this set. We're just going to fix the main part right now. So first off, I've got three cups of water in my pan here boiling. And I'm getting ready to put in one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now this is pink salt. This is Redmond's. That's what we're using today in there. So we've got that. And then I've got one cup of cold water and one cup of yellow corn milk. Just going to put that in there and stir that together. We'll mix this up and then we're going to pour that into the boiling three cups of water. This way it doesn't uh, just clump up on you in there. So we'll get it all mixed up in here first. And then we're going to put in a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar is optional, but you know, this is a sugar household. So he's got to have his sugar. My kisses ain't sweet enough. He's got to have extra sugar. All right. I got my water already boiling, so we're just going to pour this in. I'm going to stir it as I go. Try. Get it down in there. Yeah. And then we're going to let this boil, and we're going to watch it stirring it until it gets the thickness that we want. We're going to put it in a 9x5 loaf pan butter a loaf pan or spray and then you fry it the next day in butter or oil um, lard lard grease any kind that you've got and then you can put syrup on it pancake syrup or butter So we're going to let this boil and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm still stirring it, but you got to watch when it bubbles. It don't flip on you because that stuff is hot and it will burn. This is the cornmeal I'm using. Quaker cornmeal. Yellow. You can use any. I've seen people use white, but we're using the yellow. Mr. Smith's excited about making onion burgers. We're going to try those. It's like a smash burger, but you uh, steam them also. Kind of like uh, White Castle, something like that. There's a restaurant. Where was it? New York or somewhere that had made those burgers like that with water steaming them? Um, I don't remember. He's not very talkative tonight for some reason. I'm in deep thought. Thinking that he, we was talking about this much, and he's like, oh, I want some of that. You need to try it. So, we're doing mush tonight, and he's going to have it for breakfast. He says he's going to make some gravy, and I need to make some butter swim biscuits. He's already got it all planned out. And some bacon. <laughs> Don't that sound good? Maybe a couple eggs. <laughs> Whew, sounds like a full belly to me. He's never made homemade mush before. I've eaten mush just from the store though. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> We're going to fry it in lard i think yeah 
It's because butter, it burns so bad. And he wants it really crispy. So we're going to have to fry it in oil. So this is getting really thick, guys. I think that's a good consistency there. Supposed to look like paste. Oh, <laughs> you're there. It looks like paste. I want to thank everybody for our subscribers and everybody sharing and commenting and getting this out there. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. You all are doing a fantastic job. <laughs> and like I said, when we first started this channel, we just started it for our family, for for them to have something when we're gone because, you know, we're getting old. So we're trying to plan ahead. Neither of us have anything from our parents like that. And so... Well, Billy does. He has a he has a video of him singing to his mama. I don't have anything of mine, so I would like to leave something for our kids. All right, guys, we're going to take this off, and we're going to put it in this pan. out of here. Hopefully I cooked it long enough. Well, it looks like you got most of the moisture out of it, so that's mm -hmm. what you needed. I guess we'll find out in the morning. See how firm it gets, huh? Yeah. So we're going to leave this sit out to cool, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator, cover it and put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then get up in the morning and... Billy can fix breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get him to do this, and he's like, mm, no. All right, so put this in the refrigerator, and we will be back in the morning. Let me show you something first. Look at this bowl he made. Look how cute that is. We're going to take that to the... Um, craft show. You made a little knob for it. How cute. I love it. I don't want to get rid of it, but I can't keep everything. I made that knob out of a piece of wood we had in our fire pit. <laughs> out of the fire pit? Out of our firewood. <laughs> I just took one of the limbs and cut it down and made that. So. Wow. He's so talented. Alright, guys. We'll be back in the morning. Have a good evening. All right, guys, it's the next morning, and we are frying up our mush. So I've got a lard here that we use, and I've got it in this skillet here, iron skillet. Let that melt there a little bit, and right here is the mush. Get out of the pan here. Whew. All right. Now we're going to slice her up. However thick you want it. And if you want it, I've seen, you know, somebody slice it down here and they have small pieces. It was easy for them to turn back. We're not going to do that. Well, I got no uh, thing here. All right, guys. The other video of where I started cutting it and frying it is screwed up. So I'm going to have to try and piece together parts of it. It screwed up because we was trying that new program app out that we got with the uh, holder and the mouth. The words, everything wasn't together. So, sorry, I'm trying 
to fix it. And you know I'm not an editor, so it might be a little screwed up. But we're trying it again. And now I got my skillet really jam-packed in here, which is probably shouldn't do that. I was just trying to get the rest of it done. Um, so this is what we got with the mush sliced. I'm frying it in the lard. I don't know what part we're going to still have on the old part video. I've got it on 330 right now, and we're frying it up. We want it nice and crispy. <laughs> And as of right now, we already stopped and already ate. So we already know that this stuff is good. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> but we're going to do a taste test at the end just because we can't get enough anyway. Might as well. in case, Because I'm going to have to cut that taste test out of the other one. Stay with me, guys. We're trying. <laughs> we're making mistakes today. I don't know what the deal uh, is. Well, it's because we got new equipment and we're trying to... We, we didn't try it out. We're trying to do better on our videos, and we, all we did was mess up this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, because we just wing it. We just say, oh, we got it. Bam. No, we didn't have, have it this time. We didn't wing very good. We usually do, though. I mean, <laughs> usually just come right out first take. <laughs> but our wing was broken this time. So yeah. We're going to have to do some repairs. That sounds like a song, don't it? <laughs> broken wing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this a little brown, and we'll be back when we flip it. All right, guys, we're back. The ones in the middle, they always seem to get done sooner. Look, they look like French toast oh, sticks. Those are perfect right <laughs> so, there. Uh, he may eat another plate of them. You never know. <laughs> Got to save room for them onion burgers, though. Yeah, we're making the onion burgers. I can always heat these back up in the air fryer. Yeah, I bet they'd be good in the air fryer. Yeah. So this one's getting a little crispy. So we're going to flip that. And put these in the middle. Let them get a little crispy. So now, I'm going to try and taste this. And now you guys, I know this is extremely hot from where I ate a while ago. And I was like, Ooh. Yeah, they hold the heat. Inside. We got to open that up. So, so be careful, guys, because <laughs> don't eat it right away. Yeah, like I probably am getting ready to. But I'm going to cut it in two again. But it does hold the heat. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dip it in that syrup. Like I said, you can put powdered sugar on it, you can put butter, you can put syrup, which is what I have. Pancake syrup. I put butter and syrup on mine. That was so good. All right. Mm. Mm. Just how I remember it from the restaurant. I had an older lady who used to make it, and uh, I had never had it before. And then she made it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I never knew it. I served it so many times and never tasted it. Now, we're going to be having this on a regular basis, Mr. Smith said. <laughs> yes, I love that stuff. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to turn this again. I'm getting crispy. They like to stick together. Yeah, even if they're not jam-packed, if they're just barely touching it, it'll stick. All right, so there's that. Here's the other two I took out. Of course, they were right in the middle. And they get done faster in the middle. And you don't have to cook them that done if you don't like it that way. Mm -hmm. We like it this way. Yeah, we want them crispy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love the crisp on it. But they're like, like I said, a French toast stick. Crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside. You can take that and just dip it in the syrup. You don't even have to use a plate. Nope. All right, so like, comment, share, subscribe, please, and help us grow, and sorry for the video, and thanks for watching the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith Show. Peace out, guys. Fried mush. Try it.